originally from Sudan, and I went to Canada for um, my undergrad and my graduate degree. And I was interested in doing immunology research because of um, the infection burden that was in my home country in sub-Saharan Africa. But what I realized is working in North America, you have a lot of basic science, but not necessarily immediately applicable to the problems that we have in the areas that we are originally from. That's what inspired my decision to come back to Africa. South Africa was on my top list of places to go. It has the same relevance of the same uh, of similar diseases to the diseases that we, we have uh, back home, but also it has the infrastructure to do immediately applicable research. So this story represents one of many such examples of what the Institute aims to achieve. One of our goals is to train in Africa for Africa. Capacity development is a major goal of this institute and we have implemented over the last five or six years three specific initiatives that are aimed at increasing the flow of students both in the basic sciences and in the clinical track from master's, PhD or medical qualification right the way up through to early career. Uh, investigators. The first program was uh, thanks to the funding from a strategic award from the Wellcome Trust administered by SIDRI and this uh, supported PhD and postdoctoral fellows in the basic sciences and in the clinical sciences. The second program that came on the back of the success of the SIDRI program uh, is the Developing Next Generation Academics program funded by the Carnegie Corporation. This is a grant to UCT, UCT selected infectious diseases a major area of, of interest. Those two programs together have supported in the last few years 65 PhD and postdoctoral students. And then the third cherry on top actually is at the furthest end of the development pipeline and that is a program thanks to the generosity of the Hasso Plattner Foundation, a program that has given 11 three-year fellowships to early career scientists. The aim of that program is to establish people on a path towards becoming independent investigators, giving them the space and the time that they need to really ask where do they want to go as researchers, and giving them support to enable them to write grants, write publications, and develop an independent research program. When the Platinum opportunity came up, one of the real benefits of applying for it was an opportunity to sit and think about the overall direction I want my work to take, to really think about the bigger picture of where I wanted to move and, and what my focus and interest should be. And having been awarded the Platinum has just created me a bit of breathing space really now to um, seek out the funding that will help me achieve those things. So I arrived here in 2004 as a founding member of IDM. And what became immediately apparent was that there was a cadre of talent within Cape Town and within South Africa as a whole that was capable of top quality clinical science but that, we, that, that all those people needed priming to be able to become competitive to go and seek funding of their own so that we could get a body of junior investigators within the institute who were conducting relevant infectious diseases research. Training the next generation of African scientists is really important. I'm one of them and I'm training other younger students um, to become scientists. And our focus here is not just on the science, but also on the scientists. I was really interested to, to come back to Africa and IDM gave me uh, a lot of opportunity regarding uh, my field of interest, which is infectious disease. So it was one of um, the area where I really found that what I was doing in France, I can also do here. It's that opportunity for personal transformation or the creation of people who are really able to follow what they're, what they're interested in, and that's what the, the Institute offers. And one of the really fantastic things about being located within Sidria, the IDN, is that um, you have this incredible um, clinical research facilities right in the middle of the burden of disease. For right in Kailicha, we have fantastic sort of state-of-the-art research facilities able to facilitate uh, someone like me who's quite early in my research career to conduct quite large epidemiological studies on very pertinent health issues in South Africa. We have to be able to solve African problems here. We have to develop the capacity to solve African problems here. If we want to develop the Africa of tomorrow, there should be developed a capacity 
have scientists who are competent to be able to do the science that competes with anywhere else on Earth. My time here has been uh, hugely significant and an important stepping stone to developing my capacity to be able to contribute in a meaningful way. By giving back not only to South Africa, but to Africa as a whole, because I wanted to stay where it was relevant, where we had HIV, where we had TB. We're doing this kind of research where you could really make a big impact on the HIV and TB burdens. I was really lucky to actually have this opportunity and, and, and to be placed in an institute that has world-class reputation and also immediate access to the communities. So the IBM is a place that nurtures uh, excellence and collaboration and a network and a cohort of investigators who are going to play an important role in addressing uh, scientific and health-based questions that are really, really important for Africa. So training is a core mission of what we do. People who want to come and learn and work in infectious disease and molecular medicine research, there is a place here for such students in the Institute. Thank you.